Welcome to Marquee Backstage from the Lodge at Thunder Sound Studios. I'm your host, Julie Milam. This week, we're hitting all the emotions on an incredible rock and roll revival. Get ready for the sounds and soul of Otis. Me and Boone used to play with his dad's band over in Southwell, and uh, we had, you know, a Saturday, Friday and Saturday night show every weekend. And, and we were used to playing the same songs pretty much every weekend. We'd throw <laughs> a couple different ones in, but we thought, man, we, we want to get together and play some blues. There was a three-piece version of Otis, and at some point Steve Jewell messaged me on uh, MySpace. Yeah. Oh, and MySpace. Back in the day. For those of you that know MySpace, late yeah. aughts, you might need to look it up. And, uh, mentioned yeah. uh, joining the band as a second guitar player, and I ignored him. He ignored me. Yeah. I was like, I'll show him, I'll try to steal their bass player away. <laughs> 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 some gigs uh, with a gentleman out of Nashville and I remember coming back to work and talking to Boone about how I was so excited because I thought this guy was maybe you know gonna give me a chance and it seemed kind of pretty promising and you know I was gonna quit my day job and get to go play with this guy out of Nashville. Yeah. And, yeah and Boone was just listening to me and he's like oh, nodding. I'm typical waiting for me to shut up and, and uh, <laughs> finally I stopped talking and he was like well anyways we want to know maybe if you want to join our band and I was like Heck yeah, man. Win <laughs> now. But here's the thing. You're going to have to stay now? at your day job. We're, we're going to jam for a year without hardly playing any gigs because we're going to get it right. And that's the way it ends up being. You know, yeah. you, you, you get to go on the road now with this guy in Nashville yeah. and quit your day job or not do that. And had to yeah. give ourselves our own artist development. Right. And, and here's the thing. Like, we all, you know, kind of already knew each other just from living in rural America in a small town, so if anybody plays, you know who they are, especially if you play. So we've known each other, uh, you know, like they even, those two, I think you two knew Andrew, like even really before he was kind of in the band. Quite a while, right? yeah. yeah. We, we met him several years ago. Right. We met him with school together. And our yeah. families, you know, all play music, and we met each other that way. John's brother used to play with his dad and then passed that gig along to John, and that's how John yep. and Boone started this. So it's just small town stuff. So we all knew each other and it just, you know, just gotta be patient and wait for things to work out. And it just worked out that us four is Otis.
stop and regroup and redefine what success actually is to us. My eyes won't see another sun but here in the hollow is dark and cold. I'm getting old, the land is also, but I still hunger for the taste of gold. The light and the dark, each way apart. A lot of times you're you're pushing so hard that you're not stopping to appreciate things you're not stopping to take care of yourself you're not stopping to readjust you know a, a big part of doing things is trying things through trial and error and then you make adjustments along the way to you know cater to whatever whatever it is you're trying to do and uh, and yeah it, you know it's just like when we go and get to do certain things it's kind of really hard to to take in the moment um, especially over the past couple of years because when you're struggling you know and you're you're in the thick of it you know you don't stop sometimes and think about what impact you're having on others uh, appreciating what you're getting to kind of you know uh, experience and um, you know I, I think it, if, if you don't stop and, and, and take care of yourself and take care of things you know whether it's in your business or things personally or at home on the road or within the band or whatever, then at some point, you know, I think you can be very prone to reach a breaking point. And, uh, you know, we kind of experienced that a little bit as far as needing to stop and regroup and redefine what success actually is to us. News spread around, steel wheels came to town. People searching for something to heal their soul. The promise where the man would no longer stand. A brother, can you tell me what's more precious than gold? The light and the dark. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, you kind of got to go through some things. You got to live some life to figure things out. And um, that's what we've been doing. You know, we've been at this for a while, for many years. And, you know, we've, we've grown up together. You know, we've been in each other's weddings. We've been there, you know, when, each, you know, when we're broke and didn't have any money and, you know, helping each other out to, you know, to pay the bills. And so we've just grown so much together across the whole board.
our songs are kind of like a current snapshot of our lives. So, you know, or kind of what's going on in that moment in time that you're going through. And kind of what we're going through now is just... Uh, Twenty twenty is the year of much anticipated new music from Otis. Yeah. Can you give us a sneak peek of what's to come? Absolutely. Um, so for this year, twenty twenty, we're releasing two EPs. Uh, we're releasing one in the spring. We're going to release one in the fall. Um, with the new music, we're having a lot of fun when it comes to creating content that kind of surrounds that. You know, we may do. All kinds of stuff, whether it's content and footage to, uh, to support the new music of us at KFC or something, maybe trying to sing <laughs> for our dinner the new single, or or we may be a live performance in the studio, a music performance, live music performance, all kinds of stuff. We're just pretty much just doing whatever, whatever we want. We're having fun. Yeah, we did get to do some some bucket list items for sure. No uh, last year, Boone and I eating pizza side stage in England, watching Foreigner and Cheap Trick, and <laughs> it was just insane. It was did you look at each other and go, "Is this really happening?" We did. We kind of took a moment yeah. and said, "Well, we'll probably remember this for a while." Yeah. Is <laughs> yeah. there any countries we hit last year that you thought was really cool, or like a bucket list type thing for you? Uh, man, uh, playing uh, Belfast Hall is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Cause that's the that's the first place that Zeppelin played their Star Starway to Heaven live, and that was just that stand was on that stage. Really Did special you moment. I mean, oh yeah. Did you really feel that vibe in the room? Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I feel Always trying to uh, evolve and um, just evolve our sound and, and who we are and grow, if you will. Um, because, I mean, the way we look at it, we're not in a competition with anybody. I'm not in a competition with anybody but myself. Uh, that's right. And I'm going to try to be the best I can be, and we want to be the best Otis we can be, and 
And, uh, you know, we want to write the best songs that we can that, that basically, you know, if you kind of look at it from our perspective, a musician's perspective, is our songs are kind of like a current snapshot of our lives. So, you know, or kind of what's going on in that moment in time that you're going through. And kind of what we're going through now is just uh, working hard, trying to catch a break and, you know, trying to do things the right, the right way uh, based on the right stuff. And you're going to get that and that vibe and that energy off this next EP. With every song, there's a story. With every story, there's a life behind it. Join us next week to see who we discover on Marquee Backstage.
is the million dollar question amongst bands is who has the band key? I do. I got it. Next week on Marquee Backstage, we're bringing you an artist who always follows her heart and intuition. This is Sis. We're caskets of shame Running away from when we think Our moral compass might break